Hello, happy Saturday. Hello. What time is it? 11.30, right? Yep. So, thank you so much for tuning our uh, weekend cooking. Yes. Um, which, which have so much fun with that. And we, uh, we love to share with you what we uh, cook in our house. And um, simple but delicious. That's what we do, right, honey? That's right. Make it easy. Always simple yeah. but very tasty. Yeah, so we just like, okay, so today we will share with all of you how to make homemade pho because um this is one of the meals yes. that americans like yeah and <laughs> a, a lot of white people a lot of americans they call it pho they say oh well hey look it's a pho shop it's not pho it's pho like a question pho. Yeah. that's how we so, say it <laughs> hey mickey thank you for tuning so anyway let's start it so here what i will do today i will not um i will not show you how to cook on the table because you know it takes uh, I took time to cook a little, a little bit as bit. well. It doesn't take too long, um, I mean, but... But here the thing, I showed you two different two different versions. So today, what do I do it? I will, uh, we show you how to cook a beef. That's a beef pho, right? Um, you can do like chicken noodle soup. It's like mm -hmm. a pho, chicken, chicken pho. Yeah. Pho chicken. And okay. vegetarian, if you like. And vegetarian, if you like. So today we show you uh, several of those, but I like say I will not cook on a table, but show you how step by step how to do it. They have two different versions, okay? And this is my version. This is not the restaurant version, okay? I just want to throw out right now so yeah. you know it's it. It's delicious but quick. <laughs> yeah, you can make this in about 20 minutes, so. Yeah, because I don't, um, first of all, we don't have a lot of time to boil the bone for sure. overnight or all day long. And the second thing, the reason why I don't do the uh, version in the restaurant, because uh, for some reason, um, the uh the fat from the bone mm -hmm. is it always make me feel uh sick a little bit somehow yeah. that's she doesn't, why she doesn't do fat very well yeah <laughs> too greasy food makes her sick so yeah that's yeah. why i didn't really when i go out i didn't it, i i'm not really rarely for me to order pho or something have a flavor in that but anyway show you the version what i do but i tell you the version of the restaurant as well so if you are if you have any question let me know okay because like my phone got far away from my face. Yeah, go ahead and ask the questions so and we'll answer them later. Yeah. So, yeah, so I'm, um, and thank you for tuning in. Uh, let me see, who is that? Uh, Ashley, thank you yes. for tuning in. So, here thing. So, first of all, you need some ingredient for the fur because if you don't have ingredient, you cannot do it, right? So, let me show you what, let me share with you what is the version of the restaurant. When you have version of restaurant, of course, if you do a beef noodle soup, you have to buy a bone, okay, and you boil them. And of course, after you, you boil them, you put some flavor and then you put, uh, you put like ginger, you put uh, black pepper, you put um, garlic. garlic, and you put, uh, an what do you call anise? Anise seed. Anise seed, and you have to have a uh, cinnamon as well. And we tried the version before, but it didn't turn out really good. I, I, the restaurant it's not any better than this. I mean, this, yeah. this the simple way we do it tastes just as good, even better, I think. Yeah. And it's very quick and delicious. So that's why so, we make it the easy. Everything we do, we try to make it simple, easy, but tasty. So Exactly. So one more thing about chicken. You can use a uh, chicken broth, you know, yeah. and you can, but again, you still need to have all that flavor and that you need to have ginger. Let's say all of that uh, herbs you need to have in your um in broth. broth yeah you need that but here another version let me share with you my version our version because mm -hmm. simple and quick and you have a delicious bowl of soup either chicken vegetable or you know like beef oh by the way if you are vegetarian if you want to really uh boil the uh, vet vegetable yourself mm -hmm. here is some of the vegetable you need to have you need to have um Carrot. Carrot. Celery. Celery. Um, jicama. Jicama. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot the name. Yeah. I asked him, you know, yeah. and pineapple. American names. And yeah, pineapple. And pineapple. <laughs> you have to boil that vegetable for a while so you can get the, uh, get all the, flavor, um, the, all the flavor coming out, the sweetness from of that uh, vegetable or that thing, okay? But you still need to put some herbs in there. You still need to have a ginger, pepper, garlic and you know like um cinnamon all of that thing to bring out the flavor for you the whole full flavor right so 
simple way let me show you the simple way here a first of all let let do the because i talk about beef today right yeah. first of all you have to have the beef um you can buy that beef uh, in uh, of course you can buy beef everywhere but i know in king super in walmart they sell the um the milanese the beef milanese the thin slice because you want small slice you can, we we buy a, a roast or a steak and just slice it up thin is how we and do you it, slide that see how small like that, that is okay very see thin how thin slices yeah so just you slide bit, it's yes. really thin hey stacy thank yeah. you for joining if you go to an asian market you can buy it just already sliced in the little small pieces ready to go yeah yeah and normally here what i do like say just share my version today so i marinate them with some of the pepper black pepper and a little bit of olive oil in that i mean not a little bit oil in that but i don't put salt because i will tell you why okay so you need the beef right and you need the uh, flavor. So let me show you three of them. Here is what I buy. <laughs> That's my version, right? Okay. So because oh, the beef, so here is what I buy. I bought that one in the Asian market. Hope you, it's I know opposite, but uh, you it's guys got that. They yeah. call pho in there. And you see the beef on there. Yeah. This hey, the Marisa. Yeah. I know I love pho too. So this is for beef, right? And I buy that brand because I like that brand. And that's it for vegetarian. It says chai, chai on yeah, it. Yes, C H A Y. That means vegetable. Um, if you need me, take the picture and uh, post in that. You let me know, yeah, and I that. can snap the picture and send to okay. you. And that's the uh, chicken. Faga, G A, chicken. Okay. Yeah. And you need the the seafood. That's the flavor for your soup and noodle. This is the noodles we get. Here is the noodle you get. Uh, they call it see the pho noodle. You can get that noodle actually in. Um, in Sprout or King Super, they have the noodle they call it Pad Thai noodle. And you can that's the same thing. It's nothing different at all. It's same noodle, but it's called rice noodle, mm -hmm. either Pad Thai noodle or the fur noodle. And uh, in in um, King Super and Sprout, they don't sell that big like that. Yeah, I bought that Asian. in, in yeah. Asian market. Yeah. Um, you know, every time I go, I don't go there often, but when I go there to buy my my uh, um all the ingredient I need. I, I bought a big one like that. So you can see the That's name. The That's yeah. the brand. Yeah. Now, if you go to an Asian market, they'll have 200 kinds of noodles, at least. So but this one, it just the says, right Ban Pho. B-A-N-H is mm -hmm. noodle pho. P-H-O, <coughs> pho. Yeah. Ban Pho. So you see that on it, you know you got the right kind. Okay. Oh, my God. Can you that? Bring me spices. Oh, you got to know, it's spicy. <laughs> yeah, so, uh, the chilies and stuff got her. So, okay, so that's the foot. Now, we, you just boil those noodles just like you're um, making spaghetti, right? It's like you just boil it in hot water and then take it out. There they are, the noodles, and you just wash them in the colander in cold water. So now they're just ready to go. They don't have to be hot because uh, you already cooked them, but when you put the hot broth in, you put the noodles in your bowl when you're ready to go, and you pour the hot broth on, and then it's steaming and ready to eat. I'm sorry, the okay. spicy got me back. Yes, yes. So, continue with the noodle Tony is talking about. Um, my hand clean, okay? Yeah. So, this is when it turned out like this, right? And again, like, like you do with the spaghetti, um, try them to see if it's done yet. Yeah, just taste it. Um, yeah. So, they will not like too soggy, or they too chewy and you cannot eat them, okay? And you rinse them with the cold water after you boil them. And and you don't need to put the oil when you boil at all. Uh, they turn out really good without that thing, okay? You see how they look like when they're done, okay? And that's it. So here what the step. And this thing, you know, if when you eat fur without this, this herbs and what including the fur, they don't turn out like Doesn't fur. Doesn't taste good, yeah. Okay? So sprout. I believe you can buy sprout in King Super or Anywhere. Sprout. Yeah, they yeah. sell it everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Just sprinkle and them on. Sweet basil. Here this is the, basil. Uh, here you have to know. They have a different basil. Is it for a uh, Italian, Italian basil? Yeah. I remember when I came here. Italian basil is not the same. <laughs> Tony mom told me, yeah, we have a sweet basil in the backyard because I want to cook for them, right? And um, I said, yeah, that's great. You know, we went, there. I picked that. I said, you don't have the same. And they keep telling me, you know, is it basil? And later on, I learned that, you know, Thai basil is different. Is it different than the uh, American. Uh, American basil? Yeah. 
Italian. Like for Italian. Italian food. So yeah. this one they call is it the Thai basil. You can buy it in the king. I mean, like in the Asian market. Okay. Yeah, it has a sweet flavor, and it, it just you have to put a little of that. Uh, you know, when you go and, and buy pho in a restaurant, they give you the dish yeah. with all the vegetables. Like this. And I've seen Americans throw those away. They don't know what to do with them. Yeah. You squeeze the lime into the into your bowl. The the lime, a little bit of peppers and sprinkle your sprouts or lettuce or whatever, and you've got to put, tear those little leaves up and throw on there, and it just brings the flavor out in the food. Exactly, so yeah. you you have to have all of that. Okay, so now let me show you how I, I, I don't show you how to cook, but I will tell you step high how I do, okay? Mm -hmm. So first of all, I will chop a little bit of the garlic. If I do a, 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 um, a chicken noodle soup, I will have a little bit of fresh ginger as well. Chops and in. like I say, I don't use anything on a can. I don't use anything like flavor. I mean like just the powder. I yeah. use the fresh one. So here what I do, I put a little bit of oil in my pot, right? And when they start to get hot a little bit, I put some chopped garlic in there. If I do beef. If I do a chicken, I put some of a, uh, today we do beef. So I just showed you the ginger, but I don't put ginger on my beef because the flavor from that pho have everything already. And when you eat the beef noodle, I mean uh, beef noodle soup, is it pho? Uh, beef pho, 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 beef, beef pho. Yeah. <laughs> the, I, I don't put extra uh, ginger at all, but on the chicken I do. So when it's hot, I will saute a little bit of the garlic in there, right? and i will turn turn my uh, stove low or you turn up completely and i will put in there i put water in there but remember the reason i say that you have to turn low the stove or you turn off completely before you add water um they will not splash all over you know the hot oil and the water that's oh, no. it yeah. bad idea right so you have to turn them low or turn off completely let them cool a little bit you add the water in there and bring the water to boil okay when they boil already now you can put the beef in you already chopped the beef everything ready done you you put the beef in right and after that let them start to boil a little bit and of course something on the what you call the one thing on the top yeah no, it it's out. a little scum on the top yeah. yeah yeah the froth you scoop that off you scoop as it you off. boil the beef yes. yeah you'll see the beef start to turn color yeah, you'll yeah. know it's done so yeah. scoop it off and after that i will put the whole thing one cube. The whole, the whole thing. That whole package? The oh. whole package. Okay. So they have a four cube in that whole package. I use four though. This will be around like five serving. Okay? Yeah. It, when you the whole yeah. thing. Uh, for five serving of a, a four, right? And when is it done, now you can, you know, try the flavor to see that if you need more or not. Uh, normally I put four first. And if I see that if that day I put so much water in there, or I would I add too much beef, I will add one more uh, one more small uh, cube, cube in there. Okay? So when is it done? It don't take too long because you don't want to boil the beef to death, right? You don't do that, just boil a little bit. And when is it done and your noodle already done, right? Noodles in your bowl, waiting. Noodle already in your bowl. And now what do you do? So here is let me show you in here. Okay. Is it the uh, White onion. White onion, yeah. That's cilantro, and that one is a green onion. Mm -hmm. So here what I do, I put a little bit of a green onion on the bowl. Mm -hmm. okay. Sprinkle on your noodles. And some cilantro. Mm -hmm. And some of a... Uh, a little bit of white onion. A little bit of white onion. Yeah, and you know she doesn't put the onion in with the pho while it's cooking, not with the broth, because it'll get soggy. Yes. So you just sprinkle it in here, and then you But remember, the, the onion, when you slide, it has thin to be thin. You see how thin, thin it looks? Yes. So they're not, not too chunks. strong when you do it, okay? So that's what you do. So now you have that bowl look ready like it's ready to go, right? And now you just put your... Ladle uh, the juice right in? Yeah, to the beef and all the things you layer in there. So it's a really easy, but like mm -hmm. I say, it just takes time to cook and I don't want to show you on the table, you know, it'd be yeah. boring for you to watch all of that. Then when you're ready to eat it, you squeeze your lime, yes. throw a few peppers in. Now we use these Thai chilies. You don't have to. We chop it's those hot. out. It, it adds good flavor. Uh, this is traditional. Uh, most pho restaurants in America, they don't use these. They just use jalapenos. And you can use jalapeno, chop them up and just throw a little in there for flavor. Or we use this hot sauce here too. Yeah, Some okay. Sriracha. So when you eat with, you know, what do you need for you? 
for for flavor in there after you're done with you your pho. Yeah. You put some hot sauce in there. Uh, I use Sarah, what's it called? Yeah. Sriracha. 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 And that's what I do. The symbol, just like really that sriracha a little, a little bit, bit in there. And I put some of a uh, sprout and sweet basil, a little bit lemon and a uh, lamb's and Lime's, a little bit yeah. pepper. You can use jalapeno don't so you don't have to use that pepper because it's so hot. That's the reason why you see every restaurant in America, they don't serve you with a uh, the, chi Thai chili the Thai um, because it's really hot and people, they cannot handle that. And of course, too hot, you know, it really... Um, yeah, you can't taste it. You cannot taste yeah, anything. But we just put a little bit. Yes, not a lot. Like just it, just so. show you that thing. Yeah. So, that's what we want to show you today. It's simple, right? Yep. And again, um, if you need me to take yeah, a picture take a of picture. that... Um, we'll take pictures of that. That flavor in there. I will take a picture and I will put in the comments. So, you will uh, mm -hmm. know where to buy though. And the noodle, the same thing you can buy in King Super. You can buy in uh, Sprout. Sprout, yeah, so yeah. have it. Or you go to Asian market. So if you have some Asian market near you and you uh, just go there and buy that stuff and be ready, you know, whatever mm -hmm. you want it for, uh, whatever kind of fur you want, you just, you know, add on. And uh, and if you're a vegetarian, you can add more of a veggie in there. Oh, but vegetarian, okay. You need a tofu, <laughs> okay? Yeah, you can use tofu. So because vegetarian, you know, when you do the fur normal, they have tofu in there. So here what you do, you buy a organic tofu, that's what I buy, I buy, and firm, not really firm, extra firm is too no, tough, too I tough. buy like firm, and you fry them, but you when you... Top are, it in cubes. Yeah, yeah, not in the cube, you keep all your guys long, a yeah. little bit like this, and you fry them, you guys, when they turn guys golden a little bit, I don't do deep fry, I put a little bit of a oil in there when they start to get hot. I turn it low and I put the tofu in there, you know, like one slice at a time. Mm -hmm. And when you cut the tofu, not too thin, but not too thick, okay? You see, like, half in, you know. like this, okay? So basically, like, they, they are that side, yeah. the side of that cube you can see right there for the tofu. That's what normally I do, okay? And when you fry them already, you take that out, okay? Uh, and, and, you know, you like, basically, inside, yeah. when your water, your broth boy you can add that on. You can put the tofu in there. And then just put it on your noodles. Exactly. Ready. So ready to go. Same thing, yeah. So same thing. But I say, you know, it's really simple and, and easy. And, um, you know, it's really good. It's yeah, good, right? It's excellent. Yeah, it's excellent. Because you have the fresh flavors. And, yeah. Yeah. And it goes really quick. Yeah. yeah. And I say, you can go to either two versions. Like, you boil everything yourself. You do everything yourself. Or if you, do, if you don't, you want quick and fast. You just buy that stuff. and yep. But again, used to have all the fresh ingredient here. Used to have all everything fresh, you know. The only thing you don't do is you don't boil that thing overnight or you boil for four or five hours, especially yeah, you don't have time. We have done that um, before. Yeah. Where you you got to get up early and start it and cook it all day long, simmer it. Yeah. Not boil, but simmer. Exactly. Low, 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 low simmer all day long. And it doesn't taste any better, really. <laughs> so. Yeah. So, two versions. I show you two versions. So, whatever version you like, you do it. But I say the key is to need the noodle, need the fresh ingredient, need all mm. of that. Um, that's it how they put out the flavor for you. So, that's it what I'll show for this weekend. Yes. And right now, we just go to the uh, our kitchen and we and we'll cook this. We we'll cook that thing yeah. for our lunch. Get up and um, we're gonna have some lunch. Yeah, in twenty minutes we will have our lunch ready. So, everyone, if it's uh, good, you yeah. can share it with your friend. If yeah. uh, share it with your friends. Yeah. yeah. If you want your friend learn how to cook with you, so everyone enjoy your wonderful weekend and uh, thank you so much for tuning in again and see yes. you guys in the next weekend. See you next weekend. Mm -hmm. Bye. -bye. Bye.